Sorry Sliders, How to Play. For a refresher of the setup instructions, check out this video. There are four game modes you can play, with each using a different target board and slightly different rules. The object is the same in all four versions, which is to get all four of your scoring pawns from your start to your home. The youngest player goes first, then play proceeds clockwise. On your turn, slide one of your roller pawns down your track and onto the target board. Then the next player goes. When sliding your roller pawns, no part of your hand may pass the foul line. If it does, then the slide doesn't count and your pawn is removed from the board for the remainder of the round. If a pawn is tipped over or ends in an opponent's player's track, then it is removed from the board for the round. Once all players have slid all four of their roller pawns, then wherever the pawns ended up is how points are scored, even if they were bumped and moved. If your pawn touches any part of the sorry space or falls off the target board, then it is removed from play for the rest of the round and your farthest advanced score pawn that isn't in your home is returned to its start space. At the end of the round, roller pawns score points for the highest value circle they are touching. Move one scoring pawn for each of your roller pawns one space for each point that pawn scored. Each scoring pawn may only be moved once each round. Scoring pawns may only move to the home space by exact count. After scoring, remove all the roller pawns from the board and play another round, rotating who goes first. Once a player has all four pawns in their home at the end of the round, they win. Game Mode 1. Use the blue target board. Game Mode 2. Use the yellow target board with this rule. If your pawn slides or is bumped into the center target hole, then you immediately move one of your scoring pawns to the home and remove that roller pawn from the board for the round. If this happens with your final scoring pawn, then you instantly win the game. Game Mode 3. Use the green target board with this rule. If your pawn slides or is bumped into the center target hole, then you immediately move your highest scoring pawn that isn't in your home back to start. If all the pawns are on start, there is no penalty. If a roller pawn ends the round on a 4, 5, six circle, then you get to pick one scoring pawn to move either four, five, or six spaces. Game Mode 4. Use the red target board with this rule. At any point, if your roller pawn comes to rest touching a danger dot, then that pawn is immediately removed for the round and it scores no points.